Uh, we are kicking off our time here in the Smoky Mountains by doing the Kephart Shelter Trail. So it's a couple miles. It's uh, about 10 minutes past Klingman's Dome. So you gotta go quite a ways from the Sugarlands Visitor Center to get to it. But it's a nice little trail. Go check it out. So that's what we heard about this hike. It has some cool features like this bridge we just went across. It has some old kind of like stone structures that were buildings at one point with different historical meanings. So that's why we chose this one to check it out. It's a little bit further away from like the main thing of the park, kind of like the meat of the Smokies, but it's good because there's not many people out here. And when we were over by the Sugarlands Visitor Center, it was packed. So this is a good one to kind of get off the beaten path a little bit, check out some cool old spots and go across fun bridges. So, so far so good. So as you can see, the trail is super wide. It's like six feet across. So there's plenty of room, even if it was busy, but we're kind of like the only people out here. We saw a few other people, but not many. So it's nice. And it's kind of like a gravelish dirt slash gravel trail so far. But yeah, plenty of room. Another bridge. One log and a handrail. There's cannon being dramatic. All right, we made it to the shelter. Looks like you can keep going. Hook up with the Appalachian Trail in about four miles, but we're not gonna do that today because we got kids that are not very excited about this. So there it is, a little shelter built. Come out, hang out. Looks like they got bunk beds in there. That's cool. Let's see what this is. A Kephart shelter. Nice. Got some bunk beds. Cool. Yeah, cool. All right, so there's about four bridges in total to get up to the uh, shelter area. And the shelter is really cool. Like you could sleep there if you were uh, like backcountry camping. I think you need a permit though to do that. Um, and it looked like now since uh, the social distancing stuff is going on, they are allowing tents to be set up in that shelter area and you don't have to actually sleep in the shelter itself. But then they had like food storage areas for to protect your or to get your food up off the ground for you know animals and stuff staying out of it so it was a really cool hike like i really enjoyed it so now we're heading back down it's all downhill and it's a nice gentle grade going down so going down should be pretty quick so we'll go back over these bridges which are really neat so i definitely recommend checking this one out it's kind of like a off the beaten trail path to do here in the Smoky Mountains, so check it out. Bridge number four, but number one on the way back. So it's basically made out of a split log with a handrail, and you're walking over a rushing river here. And it's about six feet off the ground, or the river. All right, Nock, show me what you found here. We found like a log that's got like green dyed wood in it. That's pretty cool, huh? All right, well, that was a cool little impromptu ranger program here at the Smoky Mountains. So she told us about like how some of the bridges and structures were built on this particular hike. It was done by the CCC the Civilian Conservation Corps, which was put together by Franklin Delano Roosevelt to uh, help get some people back to work during the Great Depression. So it was cool. Yeah, that's how they're doing ranger programs now, she said, because of the distancing and like kind of trying to keep crowds small. So that was really neat. Kids got to get involved a little bit and learn some stuff about how the things were built here in the park. So yeah, that was neat, very cool.
Kling Man's Dome. Information center and store. What do you think, dude? Yeah. Half mile? Can you do it? No. You can do it. No. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, I'm real sure. You look strong. All right, so this hike is straight uphill for half a mile. We got this. Final stretch to the top lookout. Oh, we got some energy. Last burst of energy, go. All right, that's why they call it the Smoky Mountains. All right, here we go on the Cades Cove loop that we're driving on. The turkey. There's their first wildlife we saw after the horse. Turkey's crossing the road. All right, we stopped at stop three at Cades Cove driving tour. This is a house that was built in 1833. It's somewhere up the road. And you can see the smoke up top of the mountains. Let's go check it out. Oh, I see the house, it's way up there. All right, here is the cabin. All right, I get to sit next to my honey as he drives through Kate's Cove. Truck life. All right, another house. It's older and it's got a strange room for strange people and a little door for little kids. What's in there? Is that where they put the strangers? Abraham Falls Trail, three minus four hours. Another bridge. Oh, cool. It's like sliding rock. All right, the last bridge, we made it to the falls. There it is. All right, that was the falls. We are heading back to the car and it's just starting to rain. So we're gonna try to make it quickly before we get dumped on. We got two and a half miles to go, so we're gonna hit it double time. Let's do this. All right, well that was the Abraham Falls hike. Nice little five mile jaunt through the woods. And uh, now we're all gonna go back and go poop. All right, day three of four in our visit to the Smoky Mountains. Today we headed into Gatlinburg kind of, and then uh, over to this Motor Fork Trail Drive, which is a steep winding one-way road up through the mountain and then now we're going to do a uh, little hike here called the grotto falls hill hike let's do this nice little creek crossing oh nice move all right here goes brianna Woo, cheetah like a cat we made it the Grotto Falls. Here it is. A little spot to play in the water. All right, river fun here at Elkmont Campground. <clears throat> this river goes right through the middle of the campground. There's our site right there. River is right here. You can drop in a tube. And go ahead down the river. It's kind of rocky and fast at some points. But then uh, up there a little bit where Carson is, you can kind of see him up there in the rock. It slows down a little bit. So Malia and Ellie, Ella, sorry, are heading down the river with their stuff. Three hour tour. All right, they made it down here to the little gentler part of the river. Looks like there used to be some sort of bridge or something here, I guess. And now they're all hanging out on the rock. <laughs> 